Hello, thank you for tuning in. It's uh, Stuart, uh, Golden Middle Distance Races, and one of the great 1500 meter races of all time, 1985. Nice, Cram is in the absolute top of his form, going for a world record. We've got Saeed Awita in the race, uh, Cruz. So um, I can't find a recording of the whole race. So anyway, we're going to go uh, from, from one lap. He shot at the moment. He's got the big Brazilian breathing down his neck, Joaquin Cruz, and these two are looking around. Where's the company? and uh, it's closing up on them only so cram is closing. there in third place he's got cruz just behind him cruz obviously he's really an 800 meter runner um i don't know what his pedigree is at 1500 but um he obviously felt that he could challenge cram uh, so they're coming up towards two laps just let's just have a look at the time as they go through here they're not strung out too much but they're obviously shifting So I think the tiny Moroccan and they threw 800 meters in 153.6. Now, yeah, 153.6. I wouldn't say that's lightning fast. We've seen, you know, we've seen Co and Ovet go through in faster times than that. But of course, it's all about uh, how even the race is when it comes to 15 and mile world records. How even can the pace be? So. Uh, Awita, if you look where he is, he's actually quite a long way back. If you think about the way this finishes up, Cr um, Cram's in a great position here. He's in a perfect spot, and he goes through in 2.36. Now, we've seen Kohn Ovet off a 2.36 finish in 2.32. Uh, sorry, 3.32, 3.31. So Cram has gone there. If you think he's gone through in 2.36, it's not a lightning fast. It probably was the right decision to go at about 350 meters out, 300 meters out. I remember watching this live. Oh my God. <laughs> when I saw Uita, I was watching that gap. He's in absolutely fantastic form in 1985. Now I was watching and I thought, uh, Uita's getting dangerously close to him. He's, clo he's closing him down. At this point, I actually thought Awita was going to go past him. So Cram is... He's running out of track. That was unbelievable. First man inside 3.30. That is as important as Walker when he went through in uh, 3.50. First man under 3.50 for the mile. Or I suppose um, we've got to say Bannister going inside four minutes. It's a very important milestone and Cram got there first. I know that Iwita broke Cram's world record shortly after in Berlin. Um, of course Cram wasn't there. So let's look at this finish. It's been said that Iwita ran his last 100 meters in about, I don't know, 11.7 seconds. I don't know if there's any, if that is actually a true split. I suppose it wouldn't surprise me because it's absolutely unbelievable that he closed Cram down like that. At 5,000 meters, and we know that he's got fantastic talent at 1,500 meters. Well, the 800 meter champion Cram's number is flapping around at the, on his back. Look at that! Amazing. He just five more meters and. A Wheater would have actually been passed in, but the race is over 1500 meters, it's not over 1505 meters. And Cram got there first. So, yeah, I remember watching that on the night and I uh, thought uh, just unbelievable. Um, I was, you know, I was so happy that Cram got, but I was also realized that the three British runners, Cram, Co, and Ovet, had company. I mean, we knew that Sydney Marie um, had run 331.24, I think. He'd broken Ovet's world record. So we knew that there were other very, very fast milers around. There was Marie, and then Awita just seemed to appear out of nowhere in 1983. And um, I realized, in fact, that Awita was going to be a huge threat. And as indeed he was, because he took Cram's record shortly after in Berlin. And it stood, I believe, until Morselli beat it. So, okay. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed that. That is uh, 
Cram's greatest ever, Cram's greatest 1500 meter there. As well, of course, he had his 1983 World Championship gold medal, but as a world record, that was a superlative race. Um, obviously, they left Cruz way behind, and uh, they were. Uh, um, I think the first five runners all ran very, very fast times. It was absolutely amazing. Okay, well, that's all for now. I look forward to, and thanks for supporting my channel. I'll, I'll be back with another classic race very soon. Bye for now.